we believe that failure only exists when you quit. There are so many people in the world that have made such a difference entirely because they didn't quit. And we could give you loads of examples of those people. But the best example of all is Thomas Edison. It's reported that Thomas Edison had thousands of attempts at trying to invent the electric light bulb. And even though people tried to dissuade him, uh, he did not want to quit. And, and many journalists said, Thomas, just when are you going to stop? When are you going to give up? And he said, do you know what? He said, I may not have invented the electric light bulb just yet, but what I have done, I've got such amazing results that may allow me to invent other things in the future. And actually, Thomas Edison is famed for well over a thousand inventions he created. And a personal example to me was that uh, I decided that I wanted to run the London Marathon. And it was a, a goal that I'd had for many, many years, but it didn't actually come to fruition until I wrote it down. And what really surprised me was that I expected you apply for the marathon and you just get in, but it didn't work that way. What I actually realised was that you sometimes have to apply more than once. I went forward and I put my application and I was really excited only to be told that I'd failed and I couldn't get in on that year. Now, I didn't quit, I didn't think, well, that's it then, forget that. I just carried on until I actually got in and then ran the London Marathon. So we'd like to now share with you some reasons why you shouldn't quit and why failure only exists if you do. So number one, every action obtains a result. Now, it doesn't matter what you do and it might not be that you get the result that you wanted, but ultimately, you will get a result. So if you do something, it doesn't go quite how you wanted, you've actually got a result in that you found how not to do it and you can actually change how you're gonna go about what it is you're looking to achieve. Don't lose sight of why you wanted to do something in the first place. Because if you do it, you might get a result that you didn't want. However, don't lose sight, keep motivated because if you carry on, and you get a result and you change your approach, you should always get what you wanted in the first place. Now don't forget that right now you might think that there isn't a way to find what you want, but that doesn't mean that you can't be the person to pioneer it. So know what you want and keep working towards it. Now don't be despondent if right now you can't find a result or what it is you're looking for, because there's absolutely nothing stopping you being the pioneer. Because failure only exists when you quit, don't lie to yourself. What I mean by that is so many people come to us and they say that I've got this problem, I've been looking for a solution and I've tried everything. That is such a giveaway statement that people say. If you tried everything, you would have the result that you wanted. And we always say to those people, okay, you've tried everything. Just name me 10 of those things. And they go, I've done this, I've done that. I've done that one again. Oh, and I've done that one again. And usually they've done two or three things. Don't lie to yourself. Keep persistent and you will get the result that you want. Now the great news is, is that persistence overshadows talent, so don't ever lose sight of that. If you persist, you will always get a result. A great example of failure only exists when you quit is a gentleman that we met a few years ago. This gentleman was called Paul Karen. Paul was a police officer and he was one of the first officers on the scene at the 7-7 bombings at Allgate Tube Station. As a result of what he saw, he suffered terribly with post-traumatic stress disorder. Subsequently, he was medically retired from the police force. Paul's father took him to several psychiatrists and they received the crushing news that Paul was broken and the best that he could do was just learn to manage his life the way it had become. We had the pleasure of working with Paul and systematically we went through the visions, the flashbacks, the images that really stuck in his mind and tortured him on a daily basis and give him horrific nightmares. And we managed to take those away. And in doing so, all the symptoms stopped and Paul got his life back. But the most important part of that story is that his parents would not give up. They wouldn't let him quit. And that is why he didn't fail.